Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Arts feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. and welcome to Radio Friends on this Monday, November the 3rd. We've got two topics today, but you know what November is? It is National Diabetes Awareness Month. So we're going to start uh, the segment today talking about that. We have Kayla Otteson. Welcome to yes. uh, Radio Friends, Kayla. Thank you. you are a registered dietitian right. with uh, MU Healthcare, right. and you wanted to pass along some important information about diabetes, right? Absolutely, yeah. I wanted to uh, make sure and get the message out that um, diabetes is becoming an increasing problem in the U.S. Why? There's, uh, more and more people are um, being diagnosed with diabetes. Um, it's projected that in 2050 by the American Diabetes Association that um, one in three um, American adults will have diabetes. 30% of, yeah. is, and is that because of our obesity? Yes. Yeah. No, yes. Absolutely. I, yeah. Increasing diabetes rates. Mm -hmm. So we're we're eating too much, we're not getting enough exercise, we're eating right. the wrong food. Right. If diabetes goes undetected, and it can go undetected mm -hmm. for years, right? Mm -hmm. It can. Mm -hmm. What can happen? Um people will have um damage, blood vessel damage. Um they, you know, some long-term compl complications of diabetes is they can lose limbs. Um, blind, you can go blind. Yes, you can go blind. Yeah. So you you were telling me uh, before we came on, you said sometimes people have had diabetes for years, they have no idea, and all at once they become very sick and they end up in the hospital. In the hospital, correct. And so that's sometimes when they realize they've had diabetes. So there's no. There really are no early warning signs, are there? I mean, it's important that you get regular checkup. If you're at risk and diabetes runs in your family, then you should um, be seeing a physician regularly, and they will run tests. Is it as up. simple as just having your finger pricked and they run a, that check that blood? Right. Um, that is one way to do it. Um, it'd be better to have um, your annual labs done. It's a little bit more comprehensive. But, yeah, you can just check prick your finger and check your blood sugar. And that's very accurate? Yes. Okay. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, if, if people have um, questions or want more information about diabetes, they can go to the American Diabetes Association. Um, Diabetesforecast.org um, is a good, another good place, and they can find recipes and tips. And oh, you, so you can go to www.diabetesforecast.org. And they'll have all kinds of information and recipes, too. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Next week, we're going to do a whole segment on a special event that's being held right. at, at University Hospital. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and plug it. And we'll sure. talk more next week. So this will take place at Women's and Children's Hospital, actually, where I work on Keene Street. And there's going to be several workshops, many of them about nutrition and diet. Um, and the theme is Diabetes um, TV. So there are several workshops you can attend, and it's um, about $5 in advance, $7 at the door. Okay, and if people want more information, they can... They can go to the Endocrinology and Diabetes Center at the University Hospital, okay. or um, um, they can actually um, go into the University Hospital and, and go into the clinic on the first floor right. and register. Kayla, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you. By. Pleasure having you. You did a Thanks. great job. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> now we turn to Diana Moxon, Columbia Art League. Pleasure to have you here. Hello, Paul. Let's see. Now, have you been back to see the Queen since no, you were on not Radio since I last saw you. It was oh, only the okay. other week. No, I've been busy, but I haven't had the time to go back and. Now this is a very visit. busy day for you today because you're starting. You have to go back and hang lots of works on the walls. Yes. Yeah. yeah this is the start of our, our final show of the year. It's our annual show. We call it's called Give a Gift of Art. 
Okay, let me figure this out. <laughs> Give a gift of art. This is November 3rd. Right. So we're talking about possibly giving gifts for Christmas of exactly. art from the Columbia Art League. Exactly. Now, this show is going to be up through the holiday season, so you have plenty of opportunity to come in and start your holiday shopping early okay. with some great, great, beautiful work. So I, I am wearing today, if you go to the vodcast, one of the works that we have in the gallery. Oh, okay. So if you want to see what she's wearing... Go to kbia.org and then click on Radio Friends <laughs> and you can watch this segment. Yes. Um, and this item will be for sale? This is for sale. This is by a local artist called Sarah Seat and she has many works in the gallery. So oh, that's gorgeous. In, in the Give a Gift of Art show, it's like a mini Boone County oh, art look, show. Oh, look, there's a good, which, uh, real tight shot there. Out there you go. Now, uh, are these, is this real jewelry? I mean, uh, <laughs> precious gems. <laughs> it is real. No, jewelry. it's not precious gems. So uh, there are there are there are some precious stones in there, but not not super, not thousands of dollars. I think this is about eighty five dollars. Okay. Right. So very affordable to buy as a gift. But it's like a mini Boone County art show. So there's a little bit of everything. There's paintings. There's sculpture. There's ceramics. There's wood. There's oil paintings. Photography. So there's all sorts of things there that oh, you could that's buy. Good. And, as and it a runs gift. through the holidays. Mm -hmm. Now you said it's kind of like a a mini Boone County art show. Does that mean, like the Boone County Art Show, when you buy something, you're asking people to leave those items there? No, they there can and take it home straight away. So okay, it, so if you come down mm -hmm. and you buy something now, you take it home with you. You, you don't have to leave it up. You can it wrap up. it up. No, otherwise you wouldn't be much of a gift, would it, if you had to sell it No, that's what I was... I was <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you make all these rules. <laughs> <laughs> now, in this show, the work leaves straight away for that reason. And then we call the artist up and say, you know, your work is sold if you'd like to bring something else down. So they have a chance maybe to sell a second piece of art in the show, too. Yeah. So, so how, many, how many different pieces of artwork are you anticipating? We have over 100. Yeah. Over 100. So and then, and, and if, if you sell 50 on the first day, you'll replenish it with <laughs> another will. 50. Yes, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. That would make me happy. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of talented people here in Central Missouri. There is hugely. I mean, the Boone County Art Show, you know, is, is shows that. I mean, we did fifteen thousand dollars in art sales at the Boone County Art Show. Fifteen thousand. The this, one that was at the Boone uh, County Bank. Right. Amazing work. Just beautiful work that comes in. You maybe some of the works you only see once a year. Some of those artists I see yeah. one work a year. And other artists I see regularly. But the talent is phenomenal. So I always I'm always kind of slightly surprised when people say, Well, I know I go to St. Louis to buy art. And I think, really, why? Why? There's yeah, great I mean, we've got it here in, in Columbia. Columbia. Mm -hmm. We have some award-winning, nationally well-known, nationally known artists who live here in Columbia who show their work at the Boone County Art Show and show their work at the Columbia Art League. So you can buy work that you would see in New York right here in Columbia. And probably uh, for less money too. Probably, well, artists kind of have a, have a, keep the price the same. You can't sell at a different price in a different market. Oh, so, you can't? No, that's bad. That's a that's bad form. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've got to have one price. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But you don't have to ship it. You don't have to carry it home on the plane. You can just put it in your car and go home. Yeah, so right. it's uh, the Give a Gift of Art show is one of my favorite shows okay. of the year. We're out of time, dear. Okay. And, and, and it runs until <laughs> what? Until uh, January the 9th. Got it. All right. Dinah Boxen, thank you so much for coming by. Tomorrow, the Jefferson City Art Club is Ooh. on. They're good people. And uh, Mike Dunn from KBIA, we're going to talk about the... Um, about the fun drive. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Lowell Thomas and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if there's something you'd like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. We'll see you tomorrow.